Okay, so if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans, as they are the ones that know what they need, and they are the reason that we do what we do here. It is all fairly simple. You do see it, right? So why turn this around? There is no need to make heads or tails out of it. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be working in iClone, 3D Exchange, and Motion Builder. That is exporting our characters from iClone to Motion Builder with the help of 3D Exchange Pro 6 Pipeline. I will also reverse this process by bringing everything we did in Motion Builder back to iClone. It's a very long process with a lot to navigate through and learn. But don't worry, I'm here to get you through this. Let's get into iClone. Okay, so now we're in iClone. So let's go ahead and go and load up a character. <clears throat> First, I'm going to go to content and go over to the actor and I'm going to go to custom avatar and pick my favorite character, which is the Mixamo uh, robot character here. And with this character, what I'm going to do next is I am going to uh, load a persona onto him. So I'm going to go over here to the animation tab over here and hit persona and I'm gonna load up um, let's try Mason's do Mason's persona I'm gonna click over here hit perform and now he's acting like Mason okay so now let's go back let's uh go ahead and get the animation off of him let's go down to his timeline And let's go all the way to the beginning of his timeline. And you will see that he has a pose on him. And what I want to do is I want to get him in his default T pose. Because in Motion Builder, you need a default T pose in order to characterize your character inside of Motion Builder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here on this marker, click it, and you see it turns all green. Right click and then delete. And as you can see, he's now in his default T pose. Awesome. Okay. So let's go down to the timeline again. And on the root node, let's hit collect clip. Let's go all the way to the right while holding down the left button. Slide it back all the way over to the left. We're going to save out this T pose as an animation to take into Motion Builder. So let's right click, go to Add to Motion Library, rename your rename the pose to Alpha underscore T pose, and then press enter now that T pose is saved out and ready for us to use inside of motion builder but first we have to export our character out of iClone into 3d exchange okay great so let's get this character over into 3d exchange and that's very easy by just going over here to the modify panel scrolling all the way down to edit in 3d exchange click the button 3D Exchange automatically opens and your character will be automatically and magically imported into 3D Exchange. So now that it's loaded up, let's go over here to the animation panel and you have a import motion library and then you have a perform editor right here. The perform editor is basically all the animation that you're going to be taking out of um, 3D Exchange. Motion Library is based on the animation you want to go into Perform Editor. So 
what you want to do is, as you can see, all the animation of Mason's persona are all up here. But everything except for the T pose is not. So what you want to do is just hit import. Uh, it will automatically take you to the motion library. And you look for the animation that we saved out. Alpha T-Pose. And you just double click. And it's right there inside of the motion library. So what you want to do is I'll just go down here and just delete all. So you won't get no double animation down here. And then hit the add all to perform. And the reason why I did that is because that's highlighted. So let's uh, <laughs> let's go here and delete that again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit add all to perform again. And all the animations that were up here are now down here, including the T-Pose. Great. So now, let's export this character out to Motion Builder, or so Motion Builder can use it. So let's go to FBX. Let's name it Alpha, PH, Shift, Underscore, Mason, Shift, Underscore, One. Make sure in the export options you include geometry and animation and include animation. Everything else stays the same except for over here where it says advanced setting. Click and then click motion builder on the roll down menu. Now we're set. So make sure that you put this in a directory you're going to remember. And by doing that, I mean just go over to browse and just find a directory and then just saving it to that directory. Hit OK. And now all your now the character and all the animations are being exported out. Awesome. So now that's done. Let's head on over to Motion Builder, shall we? Now that I'm here in Motion Builder, let's bring over my character I just made. By simply going up to File, Open, scrolling down in the right directory to Alpha Mason underscore one, double click, leave everything, don't touch nothing in here, just slide down to Open. And now our character is inside of Motion Builder with all of his animations. Well, all of Mason's animations. And that's the T-Pose, that's there. Okay, so we have everything we need to start modifying our animation inside of motion builder but first things first we have to characterize our character so first we have to go down here to navigator go to scene click on to where it says alpha hips click the plus button and all of his bones in his structure will appear Now, once you once you highlight one of his bones by just simply going up to a bone and just right uh, left <laughs> my bad right clicking on a bone it will be highlighted and that's all you need to do is highlight just one bone. Go over here in the character controls, hit skeleton, and this little pop up menu is going to come up. It's going to say create control rig, and it's going to say a valid skeleton is required. Do you want to uh, to define one? Hit define. Other words saying yes. Now over the back of character controls, you'll see this little symbol of a character 
that that will have these little symbols that you know look like bones and you have to take these bones and make them correspond with these bones now I did a tutorial called characterizing inside of motion builder and if you would like to go back those pause this go over there and watch that tutorial and then come back then you'll have an understanding of what I'm about to do because I'm trying to keep this tutorial as short as I can so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fly through this real quick and after you finish flying through this uh, you can watch or you can go over to the other tutorial and watch that one but to save time I'm just gonna fly through this uh, play a little music and then come back and then go to the next part of of the uh, what we're going to do next so everyone so just uh, chill out and uh, go and watch the other tutorial um, there's a link click the link go to the tutorial watch that it's very short they like I don't know maybe maybe like 10 minutes or something like that so just go over there click that and then come back over here and then we'll start from where the characters characterized but yeah just check it out <laughs> you know just uh yeah just go over there and just watch it whatever okay so all right Great, now our character is characterized. And the best thing about it is, now we can use Motion Builder to the fullest. Motion Builder has a very great set of tools you can use to edit and animate animations. One tool in particular that I love to use is Story Mode, or what some people may call the Story Tool. The Story Tool allows you to create complex animated sequences using multiple characters and motion capture clips and then reposition, edit, and blend the motion capture clips on the characters in a similar way to video editing the software. Okay, with that in mind, let's give it a good old college try. Um, first things first, let's go down here to our transport control panel. Go all the way over to the left and click Story On. After that, let's go all the way down here to the navigator panel and click the story tab. Right over here in this gray empty space, we're going to right click, insert, character animation track. Now we're going to go right here in this brightly lit gray area here where it says character, none. We're going to click this little grayed out triangle drop box is going to come down and then we're going to hit character now our character is inside of story mode now that we're in story mode we can put an animation down here so go up to the transport controls panel hit the gray box where our takes are in and let's get Mason's talk serious animation and load it up on our character. As you can see, Mason's animation is on our character up here on the timeline, but it's not down here in story mode. To get this animation down into story mode to where we can manipulate it and composite the animation with other animations, we have to go back over here to this gray box over here in our character animation track. We're going to have to right click on it again, go up to insert current take, 
and simply click that and now we have our character animation in story mode and in story mode the animation is driving our character now instead of from the timeline awesome so if you want to leave story mode that's simple just come over here click the mute button and now you can go back into your takes and pick any animation that you want and it'll play right on the timeline. Great. So let's get back into story mode. So now that we have our animation in story mode, we have to add the second animation, and that is Mason pulling out the gun. So what we'll do is we'll go to Mixamo and download a free animation from Mixamo and add it to the character track so we can take the animations and composite them together. Okay, so that's about as much time as I have today to do this tutorial. Um, we're gonna go into part two of this after uh, we come back. And when we do come back, we're gonna go over into Mixamo, grab an animation file from Mixamo and bring it into Motion Builder and manipulate the animation to fit our needs by reversing it and maybe mirroring it if if we have to you may not have to but i'm just saying just in case and if you want to know about mirroring animation just uh go over there to uh just uh click the link right there i said right there okay there it is and uh just click that and it'll take you to mirror animation and motion builder but in the final part of this, uh, in part two, we are going to take our animations back in the iClone and we're going to set it up to where we get the animation where Mason is walking up on Chuck and, well, things happen. So, oh, thank you all, all the subscribers. Please uh, subscribe if you want more. Uh, hit the like button. And this is uh, One Gun Shun, and I'm signing off yet again. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Click on the thumbnails to check out other videos, and don't forget to hit that button and like. You can also join my Facebook iClone group at HTTP. Well, you see it right there. You can read. Just click the link down in the description. All right, this is One Gun Shun, and I am finally out of here. Peace.